Hi, this is Rex. Hey, this is Cole. Got some big news. What's the big news? Uh, I got an Xbox. Ooh, you got the big money. Series square. X, the new one. I got, Whoa. I got my hands on one. Yes, uh, how 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 is your big money square? Uh, it's pretty. Yeah, I'm I'm enjoying it. Uh, um, look, it's it was really hard to get. Um, what I would if people are interested in getting an Xbox or a PS4, or worse, what I re, what I re recommend is check out uh the site nowinstock.net. What .net? Now in stock. Hmm. Uh, oh, now in stock. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I would just check that website. And mm. that's, uh, they're basically, they, they have a, the thing is, they have a tracker, but more importantly, they have comments. Mm. Uh, with a bunch of people who are just looking for Xboxes all the time. And if there's a Twitter news or something breakout of a stock coming in, one of the people will comment on it right away, pretty much within a couple of minutes. Of like, there's there's like 10, 100 uh, Xboxes at Target or something, I don't know, or whatever, or PS5s. They'll like, they'll just say there's some stock, and you mm. just go onto that site, and if you're lucky, within, if you, usually, if you do within like 5 to 15 minutes, like, I, I say depending on how much of stock availability there is and stuff, you should be able to get one. But mm. it happens at random times of the day. It happens on random days. It's usually done by Eastern Time, I noticed, though. It's usually like 6 in the morning over here or, or whatever. Uh, it's done really early, usually. I see, I see. So they'll have like some available on the website. Like tar I got mine from Target. And so I was like, I was really, I woke up really more early. And I was like, I was like, you know what? I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna check. And there was, there were some comments from uh, the website saying that there's some Target available. So I checked that Target, and, and there it was. So nice. Well, I mean, I guess that's all well and good. But uh -huh. do, I mean, like, you know, how has your experience been with the box? Like, ah, uh, I think to me all. Honest, I had too much, uh, what's it called, uh, hmm. Hype? I don't Maybe know. hype, not, expectations, that's the word. Ah, uh, yeah. My expectations yeah. were way too high. I mean, it's the best game system I've ever owned so far. Like, in terms of graphics and visu visuals and everything. I well, can't... I hope so. At the very least, like, yeah. it'd be better than the last thing you had. Yeah, it's noticeably, it's noticeably better. But a lot of the games are not, uh are not uh what's it called optimized uh, yeah it? like this game yeah. here monster hunter this i played a, i played a bunch of monster hunter and mm -hmm. it's better than i've seen it on ps4 or my old pc but it's not that much better i would say maybe does, because... it, does it at least run at 60 though yeah i think yeah it's running at 60 i think oh then then it, you know what then it was all worth it <laughs> <laughs> i think it's running yeah most of the games run at 60 so good so I, the Same. games the the only game that I downloaded using my Xbox Pass Ultimate, uh, that was really really breathtaking. I guess Ori was pretty breathtaking. That's the only one so far. Ori in the Blind Forest. Yeah, the it looks great on an the, indie game. I thought you didn't play those. I I I just wanted to test the system because they optimized it for it. So like you ah. know what, I'm gonna just download it. It's free. And it's like, oh, it looks pretty nice. So I, I, I played some of it. I didn't play a lot, but more than I usually would play that game just because of the visuals, for sure. Mm. And then play, play play more just to see what's, what more they have in terms of, like, art and shit and stuff. <laughs> I know. The game, I, it looks like the kind of game that just kicks your ass, which, frankly, is wonderful to me, but... It's not uh, that sorry. horrible. I have, I've <laughs> had more, like, difficult games, I feel like. But mm. they... They did a yeah. They did a really excellent job with the art and stuff. I mean, it's just worth checking out on the Xbox if you have one. I would recommend it. Uh, yeah, I, I, sh I sh I'll make some gameplay for in the future of some in the future, and we'll we'll take a look at it and try to capture some of it. You know what's gonna be the system seller though for Xbox if you really want to see like beautiful graphics, 
this is that Forza. The Forza mm. looks always nice, and it. Yeah, Forza is like, I mean, there's not much you can do with a car game beyond just make the cars look better. The the, the environments, they they do a lot with the environments. Okay, though I will say, I'm, this is a slight side note, uh-huh. uh, like a very very short side, like. All car games now are like are like Forza. They're like really pretty, you know. Like uh, unless they're an indie game, they're all like just really pretty, high fidelity. Like try to make the most car like car you could possibly do. I think that's and just like, a sports game in general. But go ahead. Yeah, it's kind of sports games in general. Yeah, I, I agree. But yeah. like, I what, what? Where's our Daytona USA? Where's our like really hyper stylized, like really pretty sort of arcadey experience? You know, uh. I, like. There's there's that aesthetic that we're just not. We, I'm sure. Doesn't exist I'm anymore. sure someone's working on that a burnout somewhere. Oh yeah, yeah. No, I mean it exists. There's I think there's like one called Hot Shots Racing. Okay. Um, but like nothing like tri- I want a AAA Daytona USA. You know what I'm saying? I think yeah. I'm all, uh I'm I'm not a big Daytona fan. So mm, and that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> and it's not really. And see, here's the weird thing. It's not even really about the like game itself it's about the aesthetic i'm I, for some reason i've just felt like that is just i think so happy and jovial if you I, want I love the it. arcade experience i think for racing is you got it with mario kart no but there's <laughs> something that like see see mario kart is fun in its own way yeah but i think it's more like i want i want the feeling okay. right I, I don't necessarily want like i don't you know i, I want the feeling of just going stupidly fast and like just like you see like the world just whizzing past you uh as you're going it what feels like you know a, again a bajillion miles an hour uh like like in those old games right where like there were sprites as trees and stuff like that and they were just whizzing by you really really fast mm-hmm. i don't know there's something about that something about that and then everything's like super bright and colorful there's tree you know there's like palm trees and stuff like i don't know it, it's hard to explain um <sighs> And I know it's more of just like a. It's more of just a. You got to convert the audience because there's the people who played the sport games. They want uh, realness as close. Yeah, I mean, I guess like they want. I'm a game developer. I sports games people fans want is the closest thing to TV, like basketball or whatever, as possible. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, and it's like, do I have any right to complain if I like if I have the ability to make a game? It's like. Oh yeah, you know, then make it yourself. But it's, I yeah, it's it's yeah. I'm sure someone will make a game like that. I'm sure there's. Oh, some I mean, game. again, it already it already kind of exists. Yeah, like it already I'm sure kind of some it, indie games are out there that are pretty good at racing games somewhere. Yeah, yeah, pretty good for that arcadey, like yeah. not like super realistic drifting, like very like just just flow, like very like flow state. If that makes sense. Honestly, I, don't know. I really think Mario Kart is really good. I mean, that's no Mario Kart. Great. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm t- I think that like if you want the arcade experience, there it is. The I think the best version of it usually. And mm-hmm. uh, there are some like yeah I I don't know we'll see. Yeah we'll see. We'll see. I'm sure there's gonna be another burnout too, and burnout's always pretty fun. Burnout's cool. You're absolutely correct. Burnout is cool. So burnout's cool. Actually, yes. Didn't even think of that. Yep. So. Anyway, go back. Going back to the Xbox and yeah, and what the system seller always. So what was it? Forza, yeah. Forza is always yeah. looks amazing. And like even in my old crappy PC, it looked good. Mm-hmm. Even on that, it looks good. So on like the new Xbox, it looks you know even better. So you know what I'm interested to see is like. Um... I know this is kind of weird, but, like, uh, looking at this kind of reminds me of, like, the Kingdom Hearts 3 a little bit. Uh-huh. And I know that's coming to... Th- that came to P- Xbox uh, One, and it also probably going to be coming to PS5 uh, at some point in, like, another, like, uh, remake or yeah, whatever they, they, you know, have, they do. Yeah, they have on the, on the game uh, Xbox Pass Ultimate. Ooh, okay. They have the whole so, Kingdom Hearts series, I think. So I kind of wonder, like, in the future... Like what these games could look like, you know, not in terms of being realistic, but just in terms of like, uh, sort of copying Disney movies like fidelity. Because like, 
I guess I think I talked about it before a long time ago when we were talking about Kingdom Hearts 3, where it literally just tries to copy scenes from the move from those movies that it's uh, taking place in. Right. And some of them just nail it. Like, and I'm like, holy crap, could you just like, could you just forget you're playing Kingdom Hearts? Could it just look like you're just watching a movie? Well, I'm sure they'll, they're going to go for that. <laughs> mm. I'm sure they'll get there, that, actually. It, it's pretty close already, in my opinion. Yeah, so, I mean, it's it's pretty dang close. Like, yeah, I, think if they uh, could, I, I, I think they could totally do it if they wanted to. Uh, did you get to the part with the Pirates of the Caribbean? Which, what do you mean? Uh, no, I haven't played Kingdom Hearts 3. Arms. No. Okay, I thought you did play 3. I forgot. Um, so there's a part where they get to Pirates of the Caribbean, and, like, they shoot it in such a way, it's almost very kind of, like, dreamlike to kind of cover up the fact it's not really real looking. But um, it just straight up looks like the movie. Like, it straight up almost looks live action, uh, where they, like, have a scene from Pirates of the Caribbean just show up, and just, like, the characters kind of, walking around and talking and you're just like this their faces are emoting perfectly everything's perfect what the frick this is too good for my freaking you know freaking jrpg magical key adventure what's happening so like i i'm interested in like i mean that's that's realism that that's kind of like that goal but just i'm interested to see like how close how close can you just get it to like just being a movie I think pretty close. I mean, even look at the Monster Hunter. I mean, a lot of I mean, yeah, scenes looks... are mm-hmm. pr- pretty much animations almost now, for real. So. I mean, yeah, like it, and, it, it wasn't for, like, like I'm the playing it right now. I'm like on the gameplay right now. It's like this movement and stuff. It looks pretty mm-hmm. good for like you know. Maybe it is. They could probably polish it up a little bit more for sure. Mm-hmm. But it looks pretty good. And the thing is, like, I think the only thing that makes you realize stuff like this is a video game. It's the fact that it's kind of filmed like a video game, right? Like, it's got that camera perspective that works for a video game because that's what you need. You can't yeah. make it look like a movie. Yeah. So I guess maybe that's also part of it. You just can't escape that. Yeah. Maybe maybe it, we're already there and I just and, and we just can't escape the fact that it, it's still a video game. I think, yeah, I think we're pretty much there technically. I mean... Yeah, I think so, actually. Maybe, maybe, yeah. maybe, I'm, maybe I'm just crazy. <laughs> And, and honestly, I don't. I don't want my games to look like movies. Don't get me wrong. I, I, Dude, I like Forza games. Forza games. looks better than movies. Yeah, that's, that's probably true. Forza I mean, because you don't even some, people. Yeah, for some CGI movies, for sure. It just looks like a bunch of car ads. It's, I mean, not maybe not real cars, but it, like CGI movies or stuff like that. Ah, uh, okay, okay, looks, okay. Forza looks legit. Mm. <laughs> so well, they put a lot of money into that. Yeah, I'm sure that's what their money's for on that those type of games is get as close to realism as possible. Freaking like they have like one guy working on a single tire for like three three months. I hope so. <laughs> You're like, I hope so. <laughs> Gotta make that tire for, really good. I'm surprised he's not doing it the whole year. Come on. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how long this yeah, tire there, yeah, is over there. Oh uh, man, we could go into a whole thing about like the soul of video games and kind of being sucked out, but you're because so of stuff negative. like that. But I feel like that's you're, still, you're such a negative Nancy. In negative Nancy, I don't I'm know, man. <laughs> this is why I like video. Well, see, this is why I like indie games. But we can talk about that. We can talk about that later. Maybe, maybe we can make it another video. It's like yeah. the soul of video games. I feel yeah, like that's yeah. a good conversation. Yeah, we could talk about the soul of video games on, on another topic for sure. But my my okay my what I'm thinking about okay I really like my new Xbox. I'm glad I bought it. It had mm-hmm. this excellent value for how much it was. I didn't use scalper. I'm happy I didn't have to. I was really tempted for sure. You didn't uh, have you didn't have like a, a, a you know a, a samurai battle on top of a rooftop fighting for a, 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 the last PS5 or the last Xbox. No, no. I, I you, like, didn't have, you didn't have to fight like an angry parent. No, no. It's it was just online. You go pick it up afterwards. You know, it's pretty see. pretty simple. Uh, yeah, but yeah, I, I, I didn't want to get robbed, so I, like, I went to my car as quickly as possible, <laughs> but yeah, yeah. <laughs> just in case, it who just knows? Like, it's kind of like side-eye. <laughs> like, yeah. who knows? I, you I know, the great got part... It. Okay. Yeah. I just got it, so just being careful. <laughs> the great part of living where I am, while well, I know there's shortages, like, back when the Switch was, like, a thing, huh? like, I could just 
there, there were there were times when stuff was sold out. Now it's just like I'd walk into my local store and be like, "It's probably there," and then it was there, and I just bought it and walked out. Like the Switch was like the worst it's ever been, where I had to like actually go up to Dude, a desk and be like, "Do you have it?" It's way worse for Xbox and PS uh, fives right now. Well, I'm oh, I'm sure, I'm sure it's probably because it's like. I think whether I don't know. I mean, the Switch is a really popular console, dude. Dude, you can't get. Well, you can't. Can you get an Ido? No, you can't right now. Uh, Unless you go, you do what I do: is wake up in the morning and hopefully like five, ten, twenty drop in your local store. I mean, <laughs> like, I don't know. I was able. I was able to get uh, a switch. I, I haven't. I haven't checked the PS4 or the Xbox, so it could be. Yeah. It could be that way. But my experience has been since like the beginning of, of my gamer life. Is if I hear on the Do internet yourself, that stuff is sold out. Go ahead and, and check. You, we could check on it right now. Okay. Of course, let's 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 look. Let's look online. Let's look online. Now, to be fair, things are weirder because you know the big sicky. But let's see. Let's look at Best Buy. Dude, they don't, none of them have it. Trust me, right now they're out of stock. Oh, well, there's two places you can look, right? You can look at the, the big name stores, which probably don't have it. So let's type in Xbox, because Xbox is the big one here. Yeah, why? Xbox yeah. While you're it. doing that, I'll keep on talking yeah, yeah. about Xbox some more. Uh, yeah, yeah, talk about, like, games that you, you know, that you okay. actually have that you can play. <laughs> I, I was playing, uh, what's, do you know the, uh, it's a Lonely Mountain Biking or something? Lonely Biking? Okay, so already I'm seeing like there is an Xbox you can buy on on uh, in Boise right now. Oh, really? Where yeah, is it? Xbox Series S though. Oh, is that, that you're count. trying to get the? Does that not count? No, it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't count. Okay. I, I it's not bad, but it, you know what? For two hundred dollars more, you get so much more of a machine. I think it's. I don't even understand the Xbox S or X or freaking way more. Y or Z. Okay. Okay, the game I've been playing the most lately right, is ahead, called yeah. uh, Lonely Mountain Downhill. Lonely Mountain mm. Downhill. It's basically a bicycle game. I should. I'm gonna definitely talk about it some more next week. It's just like you ride a bicycle downhill, and that's it. Really? And you just go fast, and it's in the indie game. And and the graphics I, aren't amazing. Oh my god, indie game! Good. What are you doing? Oh no. It's, I mean, and, uh, it, the frames per second is pretty good, and everything, and it looks. Oh wow, that's. I'm looking at it right now. It's kind of interesting, but it's definitely like not what I was expecting out of you. Yeah, for yeah. sure. But I pl- I was playing that the most lately. So. Huh. I'm I'm not gonna lie. Like this is kind of weird because usually I'm a big indie game proponent. Huh. But like, kind of, I was kind of expecting something more like uh, motocross versus ATV. Yeah. Like yeah. where it's like a back perspective. It, this is kind of like it's almost like a micro machines kind of game. It's. I'll, we'll talk about it some more next week, but I enjoy it. Yeah, it, it's, it's a very zen-like experience, and it's the the thing I like about it the most is it just fast, so there's no loading. Ah, uh, like it just goes, it yeah. just starts. You yeah. die and go, you can die and go, and whatever you know. It's very pretty, like very like in terms of shadows and stuff like that. It's almost like a little diorama. Yeah, like yeah, everything's it like a little has like a style to it, and it does look nice. Yeah, like like it's it's not high fidelity. But it's like really, really like it does what it's doing very well. Yeah, yeah, that's really good. Yeah, we'll t- t- we'll t- talk about some more next week. But yeah, that's what I've been playing the most. Mm-hmm. I'll play some more game. I'm just, I'm, uh, I'm almost at my bandwidth limit for the month because I've used oh, too much no. internet. So I'm trying to like n- not download any more games right now, and I'm waiting. Yeah, that might be. <laughs> that might be a good idea to do that. A billing cycle. So we'll see. Uh. So I'm not downloading any more games for now, but I I I redownload the Dragon Age Inquisition on a new X, and I just wanted to see what the high settings were, and it was a little bit better, but it wasn't like breathtaking way better. Mm. Like, uh, so the I know I'm noticing way more uh, change with the games to, that are optimized basically for mm. the Xbox. So and I think and more and more will come out. So I'm, so we'll see. Uh, Although yeah, although it's it's not as a huge difference than uh, than I expected, but it it's definitely better, and I'm um, right. Yeah, is, is this your footage by the way? I, I, I yeah, guess yeah. I ask. this is me playing Monster Hunter. Nice. Yep. It's, I'm gonna play some more, and I'll probably have some more footage for everybody. Yeah. Maybe we'll do cool. a maybe we'll do a video on Monster Hunter later. Who knows? 
<laughs> All right. Uh, we'll talk about some other stuff on another video. Thank you guys for listening, watching, mm -hmm. and please like and subscribe. All right.